IP Office Manager training. You will find a file named admin CD and the release number 11.1.200 is the release of this version. When you click on that, it will open up this folder. You will scroll down to the setup application file and you will double click. Now, once you double click on that, it will open up the install wizard. For this install wizard, you will hit next. Uh, this will be install if it's your first time, modify if it is not your first time. So you will hit next through all of this. This tells you where it's going to save everything, all the files, which is the start menu, um, going to all apps, and just where it's going to save it. If you hit next through all this, you just hit install, and then it will install the manager. I'm going to cancel because I already have it installed. Now, once the manager in is installed, you can go down to the... Start here to the search bar and type in manager, M-A-N. Um, here it's going to pop up with this red, black, and white icon. You can double click on that and it will open up the manager. This is the software that you will use for any programming of your Avaya IP Office phone system. Once opened up, it will get it will ask for a username and password of the system that is currently on the network if there is no system on the network it will ask you to select so we are going to put in the password i'm covering so you don't see my passwords And I'm just going to copy and paste it from my password list onto the system. Now, once you complete the login, it will take you to the main screen for the manager. At this screen, is where you will be every time you log in. All right, so I just logged in. This will be the screen that it pops up every time that you log in to your IP Office Manager. This is the Systems tab. You have your name of the phone system. You have all of your time settings. Um, you will not need to mess with that if you are a customer. For customers, the only thing you will need to mess with is the user section. You will pick the user that you want to change. In this case, we're going to use Eric. You can change the name here. If you have the cell phone app, you may change the cell phone app password here. If you have voicemail to email, you may change, add your email address here as well as picking the extension that you would like to be. Uh, you can put your full name if you'd like more than just your first name. Here up top, we have a voicemail tab. This is where you can change the voicemail password. If this is a system that was installed by Colorado Telephone, it is most likely your address or something else that it was made. You also have your voicemail email. You can choose whether it's off, copy, forward, or alert. Copy means it's going to be in both places. Forward means it's going to be only on your email and not on your phone. And then alert means it's going to send you an email that says you have a voicemail. You can always turn that on and off. You have do not call, expect, uh, do not disturb exception list. If you would like to add someone a phone number or an extension that can contact you when you have your phone on do not disturb you will not need to use short codes or source numbers 
Under the Telephony tab, you may want to change the amount of times your phone rings before it does not answer. That would be here in the voicemail an no answer time. My phone will ring 25 seconds, which is five rings before it goes to voicemail at my extension. Each ring is five seconds. You may also need the forwarding tab. Here is where you can set the number for forwarding your desk extension. You can also turn it on and off from here. But your IT vendor has most likely made a button for forwarding. That button will be listed in your on your phone and this is where you will change the buttons. You can double click on a button, it will bring you to the actions. You can label the button, whatever you would like it. You can click here and choose a user if you want it to be a user's button or you can choose any other feature that it may be. If you need help at any time, you may contact Colorado Telephone's tech support. The other outside of users, the other field that you may need, I apologize, when you change anything, you must first hit OK here in the bottom right hand corner. If you do not hit OK, it will bring up this box that asks if you want to change, save changes. If you hit yes, more than twice, the third time it will freeze your manager and you will have to restart. Below users on the left, we have groups. This is where, where we can set a group for calling or paging. If you right click, you can go new, add new group. You can also right click and new on users as well. When you are in the group, for example, this is my main group. When calls come in, they will ring all of these users. I can also dial extension 1200 on my phone and it will dial this extension. If I'd like to change the people that ring when a call comes in, I can edit this and amend, append them over to this side. When finished, hit OK, and hit OK here at the bottom right hand corner to save what you have done. You can also turn voicemail on and off here. This is where your general voicemail will be. Depending on the amount of companies or your company size, you will have one or more groups. Talk to your vendor or IT professional to get more help on what extension is what. Finally, you have directories. Here is where you can add anyone into your contacts on your phone. You can hit new in the top right hand corner or you can right click and hit new here. Once you have saved all of your directory, you will hit okay after each one. Finally, we have our time profiles. This is where you can set your open hours and closed hours. If your IT professional has already set this, you can amend this. If they have not, you will most likely need to ask your IT professional for more help. We can walk you through it over the phone. Log on to a remote user or come out in person. In-person visits will incur charges. If you feel comfortable with changing the auto attendant menu, you may also go on the left to auto attendance. Click on the auto attendant name of which you wish to up 
change and click on actions. This is where you can change where each number goes to. Right click, uh, double click on your key line, go down to actions, let them know what action you would like, and then put a destination for that action. Click OK, and then click OK. When finished with all changes in Manager, you will click this Save Configuration File icon in the top right-hand corner. That will make your current configuration live. If you have not saved your current field or changes, it will bring this message up. Hit OK, hit OK, or in my case, cancel, and then hit save. It will bring up the save configuration window. If it says merge, you are okay to hit okay. If it says immediate, however, you will want to change it to win free. Immediate will cut off all calls and interrupt anything that is going on in the system. Best practice when phones are live is to use win free. It said merge, so I can keep it on merge and hit OK. In this case, I do not want to change anything. This concludes IP Office Manager training.